What's up guys? Um, I had a conversation with uh, one of my clients yesterday and it kind of got me thinking um, about mobility and warm up and activation and all that stuff that everybody and their mother is an expert on now and they spend countless you know, minutes or sometimes even hours uh, before their workout trying to get ready to, to work out and it I had to really sit down and, and think about how I wanted to explain this because uh, I think it's something that a lot of people get wrong. And it's there's so much good information out there and there's so many good coaches and chiropractors and physical therapists who are making videos and putting them out there for you know, uh, activation drills and stretching routines and uh, mobilization techniques and things like that. And it's great information. I mean, it is really phenomenal information and it gets a lot of people out of pain and keeps them pain free and keeps them lifting healthier longer, which is the ultimate goal. Here's the problem. I see, especially in the gym that I go to now, uh, guys and gals going above and beyond before their workout uh, and, and doing countless drills and things like that for mobility. And it is unnecessary to me. And I'm going to give you an example of why. Um, if, if you are a uh, person who is a beginner lifter, and you've been by beginner lifter, I mean lifting, I would say for less than two years. Uh, I would say that the two-year mark is really when you start to transition into a intermediate lifter. Um, if you are spending 30 minutes or 40 minutes mobilizing and activating things before you get underneath the bar, you most likely are doing too much. Now every situation is different, you know, every person is different, I get that. I would say the, ma the the masses. If you are spending more than 15 minutes getting mobilized, you're doing too much. And there's a reason that I think that. I think that people get comfortable in their routines of what they do for the mo uh, mobilization and activation, and they just do it every workout. So, if you are one of these people that stretches your hamstrings four times a day, right? Two times a day before every single workout. It's just part of your daily stretching routine. Chances are that over that amount of time, you have gone from having tight hamstrings that were once a problem to now reasonably flexible, loose, healthy hamstrings um, that don't need 20 minutes of work and stretching to get ready to do a squat. So why do we mobilize? Why do we activate? We mobilize and activate to be able to get into a position that we're going to train for the day pain free. So what I would implore, what I do implore all of my uh, athletes to do and my personal training clients is to be self aware, right? Be self aware. Be conscious of what your body is telling you. So, for example, for myself, when I am getting ready to go do a leg day, right? From squatting or deadlifting, I am going to make sure that that mechanical pattern is optimally functioning, okay? So the first thing I do, the very first thing I do, well, not the first thing, the first thing I do is I get on the bike for about three to five minutes just to get some blood flow in my legs, right? And loosen my knees up because I'm old. The second thing I do is either with or without a hammy band, I do goblet squats, okay? I take a, kettle pe a kettlebell, a bumper plate, a 10 pound plate, a dumbbell, something, anything, and I hold it right by my chin, right, right in front of me, and I do 10 to 15 repetitions of a squat with my squat stance that I'm going to use for today, whether it's close, narrow, wide, whatever it is. And I listen to the feedback that my body is giving me for that movement. So within the 12 to 15 reps, okay, I could tell, am I hitting depth? Are my hips tight? Is my back in pain? Is it stable? Is, am I pushing equally on each leg? Are my knees caving in? Am I able to keep an upright position with my torso? I can figure that out within the first set of doing goblet squats, right? So from there, I'm now going to list the two or three areas where I know I need to improve my pattern before I start squatting. I'm gonna prioritize those movements that are gonna help me do that. So for example, if my hips are tight, okay? I'm gonna do some hip stretches. I'm gonna do some glute activation. I'm gonna do some uh, stretching for my psoads and my hip flexors. And I might do some Bulgarian split squats because that encompasses a lot of those uh, movements, right? So I'm going to do those and then I'm going to do another set of goblet squats and I'm going to reassess. I'm going to say, did that work enough to stretch out my, uh, my 
uh, hip flexors and my quads and all that stuff so I can get to depth comfortably. Yes, cool. Is anything still acting up? Ah, my lower back doesn't feel that great. So what are we gonna do for that? Now I'm gonna do some bird dogs. I'm gonna do some dead bugs. I'm gonna do some uh, some breathing and bracing drills to go ahead and, and activate my core so I'm able to maintain uh, good lumbar support through my abdominal pressure, right? Am I able to do that? Cool. Now I'm gonna get underneath the bar, empty bar. Five to eight reps, that's all I'm gonna do, right? I'm going to assess further now with the bar on my back and a 45 pound load or 55 pound load or whatever the load is of the bar I'm using, is everything holding up, okay? That feels good, cool. Throw a quarter on there, three to five reps, just to make sure it's still holding up. I'm starting to feel a twinge in my knee. We're gonna assess and go. And here's the key, as I'm warming up, Okay, until I get to about 50% of my max for the day, I am still incorporating warm up movements outside of the barbell. So I'll do a set of squats, run back, do a set of bird dogs, go back to the squats, then I'll run back and I'll do a set of uh, Bulgarian split squats, you know, body weight only. Uh, you know, and, and I keep moving and, and, and moving my body and activating my body and my muscles until I get to about 50% of my load. And then I start to do a couple warm up reps, and then I assess from that day. Am I good to go? Is, is the pattern functioning properly? Or am I gonna have to now auto, -re auto regulate my training because my body is not firing properly and squatting may not be a great idea? Because if I continue to push and my body's telling me, no, today is not the day to do you know, a three by three at 85% or whatever my workout demands. Now I have to be intelligent enough to say, you know what, we're gonna pump the brakes a little bit, we're gonna find some pain-free movement, and then we're gonna work the hell out of that pain-free movement for today, and we're gonna live the fight another day tomorrow, okay? Because I guarantee you that if I wanted to do the 80% or 85% three by three, I could do it, sure. I could grind it out and be hardcore and be a badass, and then I'm gonna be in pain. So that, that's gonna start a domino effect that four weeks from now, I'm gonna have to take a week off because I blew my back out or my knee pain is too much or I, I strained a hamstring or a quad or something like that because today I chose to not listen to my body, not plan accordingly and push through something that in my gut I knew we should have backed off a little bit, okay? So I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions about uh, what, warming up different body parts or what exercise to incorporate for different, you know, uh, tightnesses and, and weaknesses or activations and you're not sure, you know, hit me up, let me know, I'll help you the best that I can. If you are a person who has no idea what I'm talking about by being intuitive to their own body and understanding what it is that you need to do if you feel A, B, or C, then my recommendation, my recommendation would be is that you are not quite ready to work with a coach online and that you need to find somebody knowledgeable in your area and work with them one-on-one -on -one until you gain the knowledge of yourself to learn how to self-address and adapt to every situation. All right, if you guys need anything, let me know. Uh, until next time, I'll talk to you later.